everybody. I'm not great, and I was dicking around off camera to look for the last remaining cherubs. And, um, hey, that's not cool. And, uh, I found one of the two. There we go. Uh, right over here. So, as you can see, whenever I started up... Where was it? There we go. It was right off of this platform. It was hiding behind these bushes right here. Um, where on the map we are is right here in the Choir of Thorns. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was the that was the whole thing. So I started this recording just to show that off. I am going through possible locations for the last cherub that I have missed. Um, just, yeah, using using a guide, doing that thing where you don't quite recognize the things that you've missed and you have to look. I remember being in this area and thinking, man, it'd be really crazy if they hit a cherub in here. And uh, I was totally right. So, um, yeah, we'll keep uh, keep it moving. We're trying to clear out and 100% the game as close as we can. So uh, I'll be right back. And we're back. And um, this one, I am I am embarrassed to say I did not mark on my map because it was right there the whole time. Uh, right at the entry of the aqueduct of the Costales. Um, yeah, we went past it. I never marked it. I should have. That's all on me. That's entirely on me. Yep. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, travel and turn in the last of the cherubs now that we are at 33 out of 33. Oh, went the wrong way. It's fine. All right, let's get your, your last two brothers out here. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot of jumps. I know. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Penitent one of uncompromising will. My brothers and I are grateful to thee. See how they rise as if the weight of their bodies had been taken away from them and with it, their sorrows. The road is now complete. The highest point of this garden awaits thee. Let's do it. So, it turns out that this is actually important for getting the true ending of the game. Um, I looked into that a little bit as well. And um, we have to have a thing from here to get the ending. So we go up. I have been trying to do more murders with my, uh, not Ruego weapons. Here we go. Four marks of martyrdom. Sweet. Uh, how many does that make a uh, total of four? <laughs> so two away from completely mastering all of our weapons. And this is the giant rattle. Um... It is a quest item, an oversized toy from a pure, happier time. The guardian of the high gardens will rejoice in its return. Neat. Oh yeah, we should probably look at... There we go. When faith withers from people's hearts, that is when the holy brothers of the golden visage drift away. They vanish in the wind, fading like a dream in the morning light. As from hope they are born, and without it they wane. Proximo, as the eldest of them, watched over the children, but the designs of the miracle anchored him to the ground, condemning him to follow their departure with nothing but a longing gaze. He then raises the old rattle, his only memento left from his divine origin, and softly shakes it. A sweet tinkling sound, or er, sweet tinkling resonates in the air and travels with the wind, a quiet beckoning. So the holy brothers know that they are never alone, 
that someone is waiting for them, and they feel a pang inside them, a longing call, wherever they are, wherever the wind had taken them. Sweet. Also, uh, this thing is hiding over here. There we are. We got Grigal. That was, that was a well-hidden little thing. I like it. Whee! All right, uh, Greg Gall. As uh, Labesh. There's Greg Gall. Automatically regenerates fervor. The heart above, second verse. When the child, after such an exhausting ordeal, finally reached the city, he felt his hopes crumbling to dust. For there he was greeted only by misery and desolation, by faces withered by pain and loss, starving bodies crawling down streets and grieving souls that wept in near silence. The city was but a haven for the lost, a ruined maze where only hellish suffering could be found. Filled by despair, the child's eye searched the sky in sorrow. There, just above the city, hovered a vast cloud, thicker than any other, dyed in pinks and orange shades by the twilight sun that was about to hide behind the distant mountains. Enraptured by the beauty of such a vision, he observed as that shape seemingly molded itself into a heart of colossal proportions. Sweet. Um, so you'll notice he's wearing gold. She's wearing gold. He's wearing gold. And she's wearing gold. And then, no gold over here. Uh, we just have the broken maiden, which we need to get her fixed up again. Um, so now we're only missing one, two statuettes. Whee! All right, let's give him the rattle. You have given the giant rattle. Your deeds fill us with joy, penitent one. You shall always find a home in this garden. We surrender ourselves to your charity. Oh, thank you. What do we get? Remembrance of Proximo. Sweet, we needed that. Teleport. Uh, this time I won't forget to look at the Remembrance. Uh, let's see, there it is. Proximo felt his strength falter. He felt himself descend from the clouds like a dry leaf carried by a sudden gale. As he fell, confused and too weak to fly, he saw the light around him turn red and dark, as an abundance of clouds shadowed the sky with a sanguine garnet color. The miracle had returned. Creepy. Let's turn it in. I am at your service, penitent one. Thank you. Hand over momento. Yep. It is given. We got Proximo. I have carved a new figure for your altarpiece. Pray take it. Okay. Um, let's take a look at him. That's the wrong button. Uh, there we are. There he is. Uh, Proximo damages nearby enemies after suffering an attack. So it's a attack back. Sweet. Nice. Um, which leaves us only one left. Whatever the hell that is. Um, probably a person in a chair. It's Looks like a person in a chair. Uh, yeah, so. May the miracle be. Yeah, miracle with you too. Uh, let's go for that. So, uh, hang on, I'll be right back. Alright, I think I know where the last altarpiece is. And it's, uh, we're gonna get it from this guy. The Confessor. Here we go. We got Concentrated Sphere of Guilt. Sweet. Which means we only have one item left. One uh, Rosary Bead left to get as well. This significantly decreases the amount of guilt the Penitent One drops upon death. Um, we'll go ahead and just drop that there. It's fine. Cool. 
a new flower on my mantle. It is yours. I feel the guilt flow into me on the wings of frigid tremors, and my spirit seems numb, submissive. I will continue to serve thee as my purpose dictates. So, do you wish to purge yourself of your guilt? Sure. So be it. The sacrament has been completed. Now go in peace. Cool. Penitent one, I will... Um, it says that we're supposed to come to him after we've completed the game. And he will... Uh, he's, uh, yeah. Um, hang on a sec. Alright. So what we've done is we have maxed out our guilt. We're going to try and pay to have our guilt absolved. And maybe he'll give us his statue in return for that. So, do you wish to purge yourself of your... So be it. Yes. The sacrament now going... What? Penitent one, I will free. I feel ripped off. I feel ripped off. This is the last thing that we need to do. Well, for the statuettes, for the, the altar pieces. Penitent one, I will. Alright. It's fine. Hang on. Okay, we're doing some stuff. Uh, we're going to the place where it is the easiest to die. Uh, actually, Crimson Rains is probably pretty easy to die, so we'll do that. Whee! Up. We are. Up. Oh, nope. Okay, that's fine. Um, where is it the easiest to die? We're just gonna blow a ton of cash on getting um, our sins forgiven. There we go. It's a little bit faster. Maybe bothering this guy will also be quick. Poke. Yeah, he's pretty fast. He does a lot of damage. So we are going to max out our bar. Which means we gotta die a handful of times. That's fine. Yeah, no, he gets mad. Come on, buddy. There we go. And also, evidently, we need to do something with uh, Mr. Hansy, the uh, the handkerchief guy. There we go. Poke, 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 poke. So, nobody... I, I have not been able to find a definite way to do this. Like, the, the statuette that we're after? Poke. Poke. Ow. Poke. Ow. Poke. Ow. Poke. 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 There we go. The statuette that we're after, it could require getting... Um, like going to confession a certain number of times. It could require having a certain amount of guilt taken care of. It could require spending a certain amount of money, of tears, getting that guilt taken care of. Ow. Um, I have not been able to find a solid uh, lead on that, actually. Whoosh. 
So we're just gonna max out our guilt. Are we maxed? Yes, we're maxed. And double check, yep, 100%. Cool. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. See if it happens this time. There's also some other stuff that goes on between, like, the confessor and the handkerchief guy. So I don't... It's a new game. Nobody's really figured out the whole, whole thing. At least not in a definitive fashion. So, so 15,000. The sacrament. Now go in. Penitent one, I will... Okay, fine. Huh. Maybe there's something new? We've gotten all the items. Oh, here we go. This is different. Behold the empty shell of your confessor, Penitent One. He paid the price for my liberation with his fragile flesh and withered skin. He still remains, but his voice is now mine. One last reward I offer thee in exchange for the continued satiation of your guilt. Got remembrance of the confessor. Come back when the burden weighs heaviest upon you. And then you might satiate my hunger. Cool. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we need to go... There's... Okay, um... We need to take a look at the Remembrance. Here we go. A uh, symbol of a tortured soul, pruning the guilt of those of the afflicted from behind its crimson veils. Uh, for years, the echoes of my agonizing breath were the only sounds to reach my ears in this forsaken church of the afflicted. But suddenly, a thunder rocked the world outside these walls, a powerful beating that shook the ground, the columns in my tired old bones. And then I knew... That heartbeat was nothing but a call to a new mass, its sound announced to each of us as the return of our faith. The return of the miracle. At such moment did hope return to our forlorn hearts. Neat. Let's turn it over. I am at your service, penitent one. Thank you. Memento hand over. Nice. I have carved a new figure for your altarpiece. Pray take it. Sweet. We have no more mementos. We have no more nothing May to do. May the miracle be with thee, penitent one. Um, except for the stuff that we still have to do. Which, uh, we're gonna set that up right now. Uh, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. So, I want to say... There, and there, and... There, and... There. Uh, let's see. This is Lebesh. So, for her, we'll also put... Uh, increased dodging cooldown. This is Grigal, so for him, uh, we'll put her. This is Sierzo, so for her, we'll do uh, uh, reduces fervor cost or increases the damage. Uh, reduces cost, yeah, sure. And for Jaluk. We will do, let's see, increase the damage that one uh, inflicted when health is at its maximum. Uh, improves the effects of bio flasks. There we go. We'll just increase the strength of our. Actually, no. 
bio flask. Um, teleport over here. Um, actually, is this the best spot? Uh, no, it's not. Not yet. There we go. Oh, see, we got a little confessor dude up there, too. Isn't that sweet? Up, oh, ow. Whatever. I just have to kill him. I don't have to do it fancy. Yes, I got my lightning. There we go. He might have something for us. I may have something for you. <laughs> if so, be sure to take it and go. I love it when that happens. <laughs> Shop. Broken key and a chisel engraved wounds. All right, uh, we have enough for both, so we'll take the broken key. A mysterious key imbued with an ore. Well, we'll just take a look. Uh, emits a ghostly sound when approaching hidden corners. Nice. You have acquired the last of my goods. However, we. Yep, yep, yep. Um. So let's take a look. Uh. Let's see. Emits a ghostly sound when approaching hidden corners. Small silver medallion that still shows the markings of an expert goldsmith. Hang on a sec. There we go. Um. The craftsman and his madness tried to imprint on the metal the tolling of a bell that only he was able to hear. Not entirely sure what that means, but I will go ahead and throw it on there. And then let's throw on our physical resistance max and um, our magic resistance max. Our elemental resistance max. There we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So next, we go this way and back. Now we head down here. British to do. Oh, our buddy's gone. But well, we have a broken key that will let us get into his locked door. Oh, wow. This is creepy. Uh, what do we have here? I have acquired a mark of martyrdom. This is really creepy. Um, super creepy. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, let's see. Ruego Alba. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Uh, what are we at? 23 minutes. So, we have... The Broken Key. We'll take a look at that. How will they know the truth if, to their eyes, I'm no different from the others? We all share the same beauty and grandeur, the same skin made from light itself, the same voice that sounds like a gift from the heavens. What if I was, in fact, different? What if I truly was the most divine of them all, the only one deserving adoration? Yes, all will kneel before me, all will worship me, all will wait eternities to share my presence and fight for the honor of kissing my flesh. I just need to ensure the others disappear. Super creepy. Um, so evidently we missed a thing where we could have literally knelt at this hand and we would have gotten um, a little bit more fervor it would have been you know our, our two bars would have been even they would have been equal that would have been nice but it is what it is so now um, we're hoping what I'm hoping is that we've got the order of our statues right and our altarpiece because if we do butter 
Hell yes. So, um, here we go. We have Labesh in the top left. They all have to be in these positions. So, Labesh in the top left, Gregal in the top right, Jaluk in the bottom right, and Sierzo in the bottom left. And that will open this door. And here... Um... Something? Um... Huh. Well, shit. Alright, hang on. Okay. Um... We were slightly off. Just ever so slightly. Um, see how these two guys are solid gold over here? Oh, I need to swap the ladies. There we are. Um, there we go. Okay. Now they're solid gold. So once again, for those looking, Sierzo's the top left and Labesh is the bottom left. Just make it to where they're all facing the center and they all turn solid gold. Pew. You have acquired incense of the envoys. And now... <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> they gone. So we'll come over here, we'll set up our altarpiece, um, get rid of those, no effect, no effect, no effect, yep. Um, we know that we are predominantly going to be using uh, our Ruego, Ruego, so we're going to pop a bunch of Ruego stuff in here. Nope, that's not Ruego. Um, let's see, increases damage and health is at maximum, improves the effects of Bioflask, yep. Um, then also dodging skill... Um, uh, let's see, generator when attacking enemies, that might be handy actually. Uh, increase stun power, reduces the perfect cost of keeping the war sensor alive, yep. So there we go. There are only four here. Oh, because the other one we got rid of. Uh, yeah, so let's make our dash better. There we go. Uh, increase our blocking window and then for this last one let's just go with these oh hey there they are uh, increases physical damage inflicted and um, the broken maiden no effect increases damage caused when the accumulation of guilt is high no uh, reduces the fervor cost of prayers Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and then we will go to our prayers. Oh yeah, we've got this guy now. Uh, incense of the Envoys. The charred remains of the figures of the four Envoys salvaged from the embers. The ashes shall mark as worthy the skin of the one who performs the ultimate sacrifice, thus returning to the heavens. Um, and we four shall descend, waving our immaculate canvases in the fine wind, and our blessing will then be thine. The great grace will then bestow upon thee the ultimate forgiveness, for our mere presence means absolution, and that is but the last step to walk in the way of penitence. Which is neat. Lovely. Cool. Uh, so, uh, let's, let's see, look at our spells. Um, let's see, bring out our, our best friend, and then over here we will stick with throwing stuff. Is sure. Um, rosary. Uh, we don't need marks anymore. So, what is the best thing? Concentrated sphere of guilt. No, don't care. Uh, there we go. Uh, mystical. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. And then. 
when approaching hidden corners. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know we're going up. And here, friends, is where we get to use the incense. I believe. Um, is where we're supposed to be able to use the incense. <laughs> Hang on a second. Shit. Okay. So it's going to ask us before we head up. So here we go. Your expiation awaits. Are you sure you want to ascend? Yes. Do you want to give incense of the envoys? Yes. You have given incense of the envoys. Sweet. Alright, so maybe we get a different final boss fight. We definitely will get a different ending. Let's see how this goes. Hi again! Higher will. Incorporeal and inscrutable fathers. I am the heir of your all-encompassing light. Devotion itself, embodied in weathered flesh and gilded filigree. We've heard this before. Your magnum opus. Though I am crowned with your glory, why do you censure my presence alongside you? What is this obscure darkness of unanswered cries that prevents me from understanding the purpose of my birth? Are the same crimson clouds that heralded my welcome the grave omen of your judgment? If this confrontation is proof of thy dignity of your glory, then so be it. All right, uh, do we have 100% on the map? No, how do we not have 100% on the map? Oh well, let's uh, take this asshole down. I thought we already got rid of that flower. Oh, they come back. That was never a problem before. take this a little more seriously even though he was not shit before
Yep, you got me. But I got him. Oh, you piece of shit. Got it. Still on the first try. <laughs> Summa Blasphemia. Alright, now the second ending. And that's as far as we're going to take this game. Doth thou respond to my pleas? With pain? Yep. Pain in the flesh. Yet your very flesh I am. Uh, maybe. Pain in the heart. Yet your heart itself I hold. My punishment will be your sole legacy. And I shall die. I shall die reconciled with the mystery of my birth. The devotion of the many was made incarnate and suffered pain. The affliction cometh to an end, for the icon falls, and with it, the miracle's designs and its will so capricious. And so you shall ascend, both in body and soul. Okay. Through dreamed kingdoms, to the holiest of places, to the cradle of all blessings, safe under our watchful eyes. And once there, you will be captured within the ancient canvas of light and time. The penitence is thus complete. Yay! Unlock ending A. So, now, friends, I am ready to review the game. Um, couldn't let it sit on just the B ending. I needed to to get the A ending as well. Like that, that was important to me. Um, so let's talk. Let's talk basics real fast. Um, we'll start with visuals. Um, visually, it's not a bad game. Uh, not a super varied color palette, but not uh, out of place for the, the tone of the game. Um, I do enjoy the graphics. There was somebody in the comments who mentioned that the, the pixel artist for the first game is not involved in the second game. And you can kind of see that, especially in, in the, the pixel art for the penitent one himself, for themselves. Uh, whoever the penitent one is, um, but it, I, I wasn't disappointed, but I also wasn't super impressed. Hang on a sec. There we go. Turn the music down. Um, I also wasn't super impressed. I. What's the best way to put it? It was good. Uh, parts of it were great. But it kind of... There was something missing in this game from the first game that I feel like I wanted and did not get. That's probably my own expectations weighing against uh, like what I remember my first experience being versus this experience and my first experience was you know, it was fucking amazing man um, I think there's room for improvement there and bringing somebody in who wasn't necessarily involved in the first game maybe or who wasn't you know in charge of the first game um, if there is ever another game or if the studio makes another game then I'd like to see it developed a little bit more. Uh, the first game was chunky. 
Like it was, it was, it was, it was restaurant salsa with all of the 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 finishing blows and things. And this one, they feel they they pull punches, um, where maybe they didn't need to pull punches. It was things like that that made the first game amazing, and toning them down for this game, I feel, was was a step backwards. Um, moving to the music, the music and the sound effects great. Um, especially the boss fight music, especially at the end against um, the first penitent, like that slapped. And the, the rest of the music, well, it's it's understated in a lot of places. Um, still great. I got no complaints sound-wise. Um, Gameplay wise, there were huh. I'll say this. Gameplay-wise, I feel like things were too elementary for a Metroidvania. Um, people are going to call this a Souls-like game. I s dropped that from the from the tags in my videos um, not too long ago. Um, because it's not. This is not a Souls-like game. This is a straight-up Metroidvania. Just with some... Uh, like, maybe some souls -y elements, some Souls-ish elements. Like, there's a penalty when you die. You've got to dodge. You've got to parry. You've got a perfect parry. But I would not consider this a Souls-like in 2D form. I would just consider this a Metroidvania game with uh, a little bit more as far as the, the, the platforming and combat mechanics go. Um, I wouldn't even call it difficult, like a Souls game. I, it just, it, it was more forgiving. And maybe it's because I, I went through and got as many upgrades as I could and found all the hidden stuff that I could um, that made the game a little bit easier for me. But I remember the first game, like... There was not, there were not very many times where I walked through the first game and felt safe, <laughs> especially in new areas, um, and especially with bosses. Um, in this game, I wasn't as bothered. So maybe that's me growing as a gamer. Uh, I definitely have improved in my playing by by doing this, by making these videos um, over time. But, I don't know, I wasn't as challenged as I wanted to be. And there were certain elements, like whenever you get the air dash, for example. Like, you would... I would expect to see that in a dungeon. Like, where it's relevant. Like, in a, a Legend of Zelda fashion. Where you're, you're running through, and you pick it up, and then you traverse again through the dungeon with this new ability. And then you beat the dungeon, then you take it outside the dungeon. And, you know, go fuck shit up in the rest of the, the map. Um, things like with the air dash, where it's just like, you go in the front door of the dungeon, and you immediately walk out the back door of the dungeon, and it's just kind of there. It's like, it was... It's not as satisfying as having to earn it. Like, having some kind of a mini-boss, or an encounter, or something. Like, when you got the double jump, like, you had to fight for that thing. Um... That made sense to me. Just kind of picking it up off the ground. It's not. It's not very satisfying, you know. Um. The the reduction of the finishing animations and like the stunning mechanic in general. Um. I I feel like those were pulled back a little bit in this game as well compared to the first. Um. In the first game, like. Almost everybody had a, a unique or slightly different, like, um, finishing animation. And that wasn't the case in this game as well. So it, it feels like they had the right idea, but they took some shortcuts. Whether that was to get the game out faster, or because it was a different development team, or a different art team, or they ran out of money... I don't know. 
I don't know the story behind that, but I definitely felt it missing. Um, yeah, um, and then let's get to the story. Because the story, I feel the, the same thing. Where the elements were there, but they were just kind of set down in a certain order and the order didn't have the order didn't have a lot of what's the word I'm looking for like the order could have meant something but it didn't so yeah I think overall I would give Blasphemous to Right now, I would give it maybe a 6 out of 10. And if I was feeling a little more generous, maybe a 6.5. Oh, a ribbon. That was lovely. And the milk boarding. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, that's it for Blasphemous 2. So we will start on Sea of Stars after this. Um, thank you all for coming along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next series. And until then, make sure you're staying safe and healthy out there. Don't cut yourself open with a sharp knife. And, you know, have a good one.